exciting. The sun is actually out. We've got sailboats today. It always is so much better. At least you some sun out at the beach. And game company Sega becomes the latest hacking victim. What we keep telling people, if you, they say that your security is only as good as the firewall. In order to properly use all of these internet gaming stuff, you got to drop your firewall because your firewalls won't let you play a lot of this stuff. And when you drop your firewall, they get into your system. Uh, and Republicans to stop Obama's recess appointment by staying session. Oh yeah, I mean the guy wants to appoint two people. He wanted a uh, Senate to approve two people. One is, uh, to the Labor Relations Board, who's an out-and-out socialist and anti-business. And then he wanted to appoint a, an ambassador to Israel that believes in the overthrow of the Israeli country. Oh, really? Yeah, I love brilliant, isn't it? And United Airlines computers coming back online. No, it's uh, it's they still aren't online, no matter what they said. They got really. Yeah, they they they, they won't admit that there was hacking done, but there was hacking done, folks. And Casey Anthony prosecutor says duct tape is a murder weapon. Yeah, uh, I also I heard one of their experts said that uh, she was chloroformed to death. So there is no general consensus even among the prosecution. This morning, the defense people came on and said specifically there, the, the, the duct tape had nothing to do with it. She wasn't chloroformed to death. And uh, there was no way that the woman, that any of this could have been done. So now they've got a problem because their expert witness is more impressive than the expert witnesses that the uh, prosecution put up. Uh, and Syrian forces open fire on protesters and 16 killed. Well, yeah, and they're going to keep doing it because it's a dictatorship. I know that Obama and Hillary Clinton and Bill O'Reilly and Sean Hannity don't understand it, but people like Hitler are not nice people. They kill their own people. And Penny offense man fined for paying fee in pennies. Yeah, uh, he found out that it's against the law to pay off things like that. Are you serious? Yeah, this, it's, it's... Wait a minute, okay. I never heard of anything No, like even that. though they said everything is legal tender, they don't have to accept any of it. They do not have... I, I tried to pay for a television set once in cash. They told me they didn't have to accept it, so I, I went to... I went to the everybody. Congressman said they got to. The governor said they had to. And the Treasury Department said, well, there is no actually requirement that they have to accept any of our government money for anything. Oh, really? Yeah, but this doesn't exist, folks. Gifford's visiting hometown of Tucson this weekend. Um, not as far as I know. She lives there, so therefore, they said visiting is very uh, telling. I mean, I saw the woman again this morning. She, her, she, her, they don't show her doing much, in the, and the, uh, I think the right side of her face is paralyzed, so... And she no longer looks the same. Oh. I mean, her face is totally different. It's not just the hair color. Her face has changed. And New York Target store rejectors, um, workers reject unionization. Oh, yeah, because they, uh, it's a good one. The union figured out that Target had figured out the same thing that all the other companies that they're targeting now are figuring out. If uh, you hire more workers, which is what they want, you cut the hours down and you don't have to pay the benefit packages now. Everybody becomes a part-time worker to satisfy Obama's union command. Uh-huh. Uh, that's not what Obama planned. Of course it's not. Because, you know, sometimes the pie is only so big. Yeah, well, they're going to hire more people, but they're going to hire more people to do the same job. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, nobody gets benefits then, huh? No, they don't have to pay any. There's no union benefits will be paid out because you don't pay out benefits to part-time workers, so. And U.S. pushes for Yemen to listen to Saleh's out That's not going to happen because they don't like us in Yemen. Yeah. U.N. backs gay rights for the first time ever. Well, they said what happened is the socialists won the battle over the Muslims. And, uh, I mean, they pissed off all of the Muslim nations, which make up the majority of the uh, United Nations. And... Uh, and it, it, that's not going over well because if anything, that's got to bust up the UN over that thing. Gates, NATO alliance, future could be dim and dismal. Well, yeah, because the United States is going to stop funding the things. I mean, really? Gates realizes that without, the, without Congress's funding, NATO dies because we provide 75% of everything and Congress is so pissed off at Obama, they're going to stop the funding in both houses. I mean, he can't get a majority in either house to provide any funding for anything anymore. South Korean military fires at civilian jetliner. 
Yeah, all because it was in an area it wasn't supposed to be. You're not supposed to fire on jetliners, but they are nowadays and all virtually everyone really can think of since 9-11. And HRW says Libya rebels detained pro Qaddafi civilians. Yeah, isn't that amazing how the... Remember the bad guys are all... Most of the bad guys are really bad guys. They, they support Al-Qaeda and death to Americans and all that stuff. So you, you, what Obama wants to do... This is a good one, John McCain. Well, the, eight, the, uh, the, the rebels have promised that they will reimburse the United States for all of the... Uh, our expenses. Well, and they believe them. Uh, McCain is not very bright, folks. <laughs> but he ran for president, knowing he couldn't win. And Schwarzenegger's popularity among voters slides. I, I know the Democrats don't seem to understand he's it. Not in he's office. not in office, and he's not running for anything ever again. So therefore, saying he's not popular with the uh, voters—that's sort of ridiculous. I know, isn't that crazy? That's like saying that. Bill Clinton is no longer popular with the people that he needed to support him for re-election. He's he, not running for re-election. He, he can't even run for re-election. So. And you can tell, well, let's just say they're expecting more people at the beaches because, well, there's signs. Uh, let's see, I, I can just do a quick turnaround here. Well, they're expecting more at the other beaches. This is a beach, folks. There was more people here yesterday in the... In the, I know. In the, the, on June gloom than there is today. I think there was a school here. Yeah. And South, oh wait, wait, wait. Syrian troops sweep through the north and unrest killed 32. Yeah, I mean, it's just every every other item is, is about the Syrian military. Well, the military is getting fed up with the with the head of the military. No. They, they're the ones that put him in power. They put his father in power. They put him in power because they supply the military with everything the military wants. So they're going to kick out. The only way that this guy would be kicked out would be to put somebody in that's worse. Yeah. I think those things are a little far out, though. I know they're pretty far out. But here's the funny part is I don't see the airplane in front of them. I see uh, two planes. Oh, you do? Yeah. Um, oh, wait, now I see Yeah, them. one plane is way up above each of But still, they're too close together. They are awfully close. Yeah, so I think one of them is selling suits, which isn't a really smart. Actually, they're yeah. both uh, they're both the same company, so... Nestle says upward trend in raw materials to persist. Yeah, because it's going to cost everything. I mean, the, okay, Obama will flat out tell you there is no inflation. Talk to every business and every... I mean, I heard a woman yesterday bitching up a storm at the store because uh, everything cost her more than what she thought it was going to cost. So, and she came with cash and still you know, she wasn't prepared for what the expense was. Well, yeah, I think she was trying to buy a lot of things in a bargain, too. Yeah, and it didn't happen. Asian stock mixed in the U.S. economy pessimism. Yeah, because, every, okay, everybody in the world was down yesterday, and the United States was up, naturally. Because what happens is, on high trading days, or, or the stock market goes into the tank, on big trading days, the market goes up. And yesterday was a very bad trading day. I know. Where did the price down? the only place we can get on the beach where you can actually do anything anymore. And report Obama overruled lawyers on Libya air war. Oh, I know. Isn't that a beaut? I mean, they told him what he was doing was unconstitutional and illegal. But then again, when doesn't Obama do things that are unconstitutional and illegal? Well, is that why the White House lawyers resigned? Yeah. And Japan's TEPCO suspends cleanup at Fukushima. Well, because it's too much radioactivity. And, you know, and, you know people, the people that were doing the cleaning were resigned to the fact that they were all going to die. But the problem is the new people aren't resigned to the fact that they're going to die. An anti-new protest in Japan three months after the quake. Oh, look, there's a helicopter. Well, okay, there's always been anti-new protests in Japan. Japan, like Germany, cannot possibly switch to, to fossil fuels because there, uh, there's no means of... Uh, they have environmental protection rules which prohibit the pollution that those uh, fossil fuels would cause. So Obama doesn't understand that either. As he shuts down all of these plants in our country, there's no way that green power doesn't work. I mean, every country in the world has tried it has been a failure at it. But Obama, we can do it different, though. And New York Target Store rejects unionization. Yeah. You know, it's, it's because it is simply the, the unions, I heard him talking yesterday, that this was a scam by the company. 
and a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, since I played golf most of my life, I can give you this. How can you expect one to wear shorts to play golf in to understand tradition?